Fran and Fred Callis are a perfect example of what parvovirus can do to dogs and those who love them. We've lost a lot in the dogs and stuff. I mean, we really love them. Butch is the lone survivor of a parvovirus outbreak among the family's Pomeranian puppies. He had approximately three shots a piece and was supposed to get the fourth one. But out of nowhere, the dogs contracted parvo. The calluses were careful administering the vaccine themselves to all five puppies, but it was too much for Butch's sister, Sparky. But she was bleeding all over. It was all over my clothes and my purse and the floor. Last month, Sparky was euthanized. Animal control officials say they've seen an unusually high number of cases this summer in Wake County. It's why they're urging dog owners to get dogs vaccinated by professionals because complications can happen. There can be challenges with administration, challenges with dosing, challenges with choosing the right vaccine for your animal. Unfortunately, the cost can be high, which is why the calluses on a fixed income vaccinated their dogs themselves. They used to breed, but say the loss of a buddy was a tough lesson too devastating. I've taken care of animals and given them shots for years. I'm not gonna breed anymore. I've had so much ache, pain. I hadn't dealt very good at all.